Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And um, just following the spirit dealing with, you know, um, the first resurrection, all right, um, which ultimately the uh, elect, all right, will be a part of that first resurrection, which when you read the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, let's get that real quick. Revelation seven. All right. When you read verses four, all right. Through eight, it gives you the governing body, which is the 144,000. All right. But afterwards, all right, there is a large multitude. All right. Which ultimately this fulfills the promise that was given unto Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. That the seed of Israel. All right. Will be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. All right. And ultimately, this will be the first fruits. All right. That we will be returned. All right. Unto righteousness. All right. And ultimately, through these first fruit spirits being established, starting with the 144,000, we know the 12 disciples will be at the head of that. The whole nation of Israel. All right. Will eventually be justified in their order. As we've uh, been going into, as you read here, the book of Isaiah 45 and 25, in Yahweh shall all the seed of Israel be justified, right? All the seed of Israel will be justified, all right? And how will that take place? That will take place through those first fruit spirits being established, all right? Now, let's get the book of John 1 and 12. OK, because it starts ultimately with those. All right. Who are at the forefront of the faith, which are the first fruits of the spirit. And we'll, we'll go into that. Let's get the book of John. OK, because in the kingdom of heaven. All right. There will not be an Israelite. All right. Who is ultimately burning forever. So he wants the kingdom of heaven is established. All right. Those spirits that were chosen to be against the truth. All right. For the gospel's sake. All right. Natural brute beast, you know, made to be taken and destroyed. Those spirits will come back, but they won't be in a leadership position. All right. They won't partake. All right. In the first resurrection, which the resurrection. All right. Is the Israelites being returned to their original estate. All right. So as we always ask, if there's a first resurrection. All right. What is the uh, second all right. Now, this is the book of John. One and twelve. OK, I'll start at uh, eleven. He came to his own speaking of Yahweh Shai and his own received them not meaning those of the circumcision. All right. Which were uh, Judah, Benjamin and Levi. All right. Who were in Jerusalem at the time Yahweh Shai was born. Many of them refused him. All right. But there were. All right. A lot of them who followed him, see, but as many as received him to them, gave he power to become the sons of God. All right. Even to them that believe on his name. All right. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of the most high. And that is those first fruit spirits that were with Yahweh Shai. All right. From the foundation of the earth. All right. They had to be born in that time. OK, in earthly bodies, but ultimately the true birth of the elect took place in the heavens. You see, and just like it says in the book of Hebrews, let's get that real quick. Hebrews, the second chapter. And 14, because we all had to undergo this fall, undergo these bodies as a punishment, as a part of our discipline. All right. Hebrews 2. And 14 for as much all right then as children the children all right are partakers of flesh and blood he also himself likewise took part of the same see that through death he might destroy him that had power over death all right that is the devil all right and deliver them those first fruit spirits all right 
who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. And what was the bondage that we're subject to is these bodies, all right? But through Yahawashai sacrifice, death, burial, resurrection, we now have life, all right? And he lives forevermore on the right-hand side, all right? He's in his eternal body in the heavens, all right? We are fighting to get back to our eternal glory, all right? And that's the first fruit spirits, see? Now, uh, going back to John 1 and 12, but as many as received him, See, who accepted him, who believed on him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. All right, meaning ultimately we, we now have a chance to be brought back to our original birth, which is the bodies that we were given, all right, from the beginning. See, and ultimately we're going to rule on earth in those bodies. Now, when you go to uh, James 1 and 18, all right. It says. Of his own will begot he us with the word of truth. All right. So those who are ultimately of that first resurrection were given the word of truth. They would be the ones who stood stiffly. All right. They're going to be the, the, the ones that are written in the book of life. The ones resurrected back to life under Yahweh Shai first of his own will begot he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. In LT, he chose to give us, all right, he chose to give birth to us by giving us, all right, his true word, all right? Just like Yahweh Shah told his disciples, all right, ye have been with me from the beginning, all right? And we, out of all creation, became his possessed, all right, his prized possession, See, and when you look up that word first fruits, all right, when you look up that word first fruits, a parquet, just getting to the uh, the point, all right, just like you have the first fruits of your increase, your crop that you will bring to the temple, all right, um, the uh, holy day is escaping my mind right now, all right, um, but ultimately, that's all symbolizing the first fruit spirits, all right, that were created, all right, by Yahweh Shai as the most high created Yahweh Shai, the rest of the spirits that were given unto him as a ride or die body, all right, were created next, see, and those are going to be the ones who are giving the word, all right, and then you had, all right, because ultimately from the beginning, that body was at the forefront of creation. When the scriptures say in the beginning, the heavenly father created the heaven and the earth, all right? That word God, it's not literally talking about the heavenly father, but it's his word. See, the Allah Hayim, okay? The angels, see? The judges, the rulers. And ultimately, all right, those spirits are back in this time, all right? And they're at the forefront of what? Judging, teaching, ruling, and the, the word is person superior in excellence to others of the same class. So the elect, all right, are superior in excellence to those of the same class, to the rest of Israel. And this word is what's written in the book of Revelation 14 and 4, all right? These are they which were not defiled with women. They were chosen to be ultimately perfect, all right? They're not defiled with these other philosophies, the strange woman. They are virgins, all right, meaning ultimately they're covered under the blood of Yahweh Shai. Okay, from the foundation of the earth, they were meant, all right, to be perfect. See, it says blameless at the end of the day. Who can lay anything to the charge of the elect? That's why the scriptures say, and they overcame him by the blood of Yahweh Shai and by the word of their testimony. They were given the word of truth, right? These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever you goeth. The true disciples of Yahweh Shai, all right, go back to the beginning, okay, because as we always show you in the book of uh, Genesis, the first chapter, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, that word beginning, as we uh, go into, and the spirit just has me touching into this again, we just did a class on it, but the root word is Ra'ash, head, top, summit, all right, height, front, beginning, all right, but if you see here, it says chief head of man, city, nation, family, priest. 
All right. So the Lord is presenting unto you the order he established, which it starts with Yahweh Shai, who's the head of the firstborn church. All right. And that word God, we know, is Allah which is the rulers, divine ones, angels, works or special possessions of the most high. OK. And he is the, the uh, head of the church. Let's get Colossians, the first chapter. And we'll go to the uh, the 18th verse. And he is the head of the body, the church, who was the beginning, all right, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence, all right? And as it says in the book of uh, Hebrews, heavenly, all right, Jerusalem, okay? Hebrews 12 and 22, but ye are come to the Mount Sion unto the city of the living power, the heavenly Jerusalem, all right, and to an innumerable company of angels. See? So when the scriptures say that the elect were chosen from the foundation of the earth, all right, verse 4, he, Ephesians 1 and 4, that he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. All right, so that's what it means, all right? And as it says, having predestinated us, all right, to the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai, all right, to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. And that word adoption, when you get to it, all right, huetosia, all right, the relationship which the Most High was pleased to establish between himself and the Israelites in preference to all nations, see? And again, that starts with the elect, as it says in the book of 1 Corinthians, all right, the uh, 20th chapter, the first fruit spirits, see? So, Revelation 14 and 4, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins, they're blameless, all right? The, the word is going to be in them. They're going to be at the forefront of standing stiffly. And when they're established, okay, as we'll show you all of the children that issue forth, because the scriptures say we're going to have children and children and children forever. All right, so all of the children that are going to be born from that holy lump are going to be born into the covenant through, all right, the first fruit spirits being established. So ultimately, our mercy comes through Yahweh Shai. We get to then be, you know, brought back to eternal glory. All right, and then the rest of the nation through the sacrifice of the elect get to come back to eternal glory. See? So these were redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto the most high unto the lamb and we just showed you what that word first fruits mean all right let's get the book of romans the uh, eighth chapter in the 23rd verse okay it says um 22 for we know that the whole creation groaneth all right and travaileth in pain until now. Why? Because the sons of God are not in their original order. So that means the earth is not being ran how it's supposed to be ran, which leads to decay, which leads to, un, you know, things being disorderly. And not only they, but ourselves, which have the first fruits of the spirit. See, the elect, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption, all right, to wit the redemption of our body. So it says here, and we, the believers, all right, also grown, all right, those who accepted and, and, and believed in the truth, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory, for we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when the Most High will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. All right. So the, the ones who are going to get that redemption first. All right. Or of that first fruit body. OK, as it says here in the book of first Corinthians, the 15th chapter. We always get this as this this body. All right. This uh, these bodies, we, we can't go on like this, man. We have to be redeemed out of these in order to be, you know, accepted back to the most high. We need we need perfect bodies. So through Yahweh Shai, we have a way. Back to that, 1 Corinthians 15 and 20, but now the order of resurrection, all right, but now is Yahweh Shai risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. See it all, the first fruits start with him, 
All right. Then you have the rest of the first fruit spirits, man. All right. And that's ultimately the, 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 the body that's at the head of everything. All right. For the for the world, man. Of our nation, of the world, period, man. OK. For since by man came death, Adam, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. OK. For and as in Adam all die, even so in Yahweh Shah shall all be made alive. See, but every man in his own order. OK. Again, this word order. Is what? Tagma, that which has been arranged, thing, place, and order. All right, body of soldiers. All right, band, troop, class, corpse. All right, something orderly in arrangement. So the Lord deals with order. Okay? So every man in his own order will be resurrected. All right, back to life. See? And it starts with those who are written in the book of life. All right, the, 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 the ride or die family that was chosen to be with Yahweh Shai from the beginning. All right. And who will go out into the earth and uplift him and stand stiffly. That's why they're going to receive crowns. That's why they're going to be a part of that reunion in the heavens with him. Sipping wine. OK. The two thirds will be in ultimately destruction. All right. They're going to pay. They're going to be in the lake of fire. The second death has power over them. See, but every man in his own order. Yahweh Shah, the first fruits afterwards, they that are Yahweh Shah's that is coming. All right. And that can all be fulfilled in what we're reading here in Revelation 7, where you have the 144,000. And then you have that large multitude of right um, in verse nine. And after this, I beheld lo, a great multitude. These are going to be the rest of the men, women and children. And again, there's going to be more women saved than men. OK. Of all people. All right. And kindreds and nations and tongues still before the, 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 the lamb clothed with white robes. So a lot of people say this is the actual heathen. So the Lord is going to save more heathen than he does Israelites. No. OK. This is speaking of Israelites. The word kindred is fule, a tribe in the New Testament. All the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. OK. It's just that they were scattered. OK. So ultimately. We're going to be restored back to life, starting with the 144,000 and those spirits that the Heavenly Father chose, all right, to believe. Revelation 20, all right, and 4, okay? And I saw the thrones, and they that set up on them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. For the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. All right, and this is the first a thousand years where, all right, Yahweh Shai and those first fruit spirits, all right, just as they were used to create creation, all right, those you know the, the those days in the book of Genesis, the first chapter, which were a thousand years, okay. They were all ordered to create creation. They were given the blueprint to create everything. So those spirits are going to be at the forefront of putting it back in order. And that's going to take one day, 1,000 years. All right. And ultimately, this is not the end of rulership. As we know, the kingdom is going to be forever and ever. But ultimately, that first 1,000 years is vital to getting everything back in order. And through that, in that 1,000 years is where these heathen will serve their captivity all right. And learn righteousness. See, it's going to take a, a long time, you know, you know, in, 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 in our time, that ain't going to be long. But a thousand years, as we think in this body, it's a long time. But ultimately, it's going to take one thousand years. All right. To set paradise back up on Earth and to get the nations in order. And after that, Esau's done. OK. And the rest of the nations will be able to go to their corner. But the thing is this, when you read the scriptures, the heathen, let's get the book of Tobit 13. All right. Tobit, the 13th chapter and around the 11th verse. All right. It says, many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord with gifts in their hands, even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations shall praise him with joy. Cursed are they which hate thee and blessed are they which uh, shall be that love thee forever. So ultimately, here it is. The heathen are going to come with gifts. If they're, you know, obey the laws, they'll be blessed. 
you know, when they go off pursuing the Zechariah, the uh, 14th chapter, they'll be judged. But you're going to tell me the two thirds spirits ain't going to be able to come back and, 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 and praise the Lord. Absolutely, they will. But they just won't receive it in that first resurrection. As we read in here, Revelation 20 and five, but the rest of the dead, the heathen nations live not again till the thousand years will finish. This is the first resurrection. See, in the first resurrection, when you look up the word resurrection, all right, is those first fruit spirits being brought back to perfection under Yahweh Shai. All right, raising up, all right, from the dead. We're going to leave death. Death will no longer have dominion over us through these first fruit spirits being established. Okay, restored to life. All right. So death all right, will no longer have dominion over us. As you read in 1 Corinthians 15, okay, Paul tells you, Behold, 51, Behold, I show a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. See? We're going to be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on all right, for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. And that starts with those first fruit spirits. See, and we'll be sons of God, literally, in a sense where we won't have, you know, uh, earthly parents. We will be born directly from the most high through Yahweh Shai. That's the original estate of the elect. Right. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass. The saying that death is swallowed up in victory. And that's for the Israelites. He's quoting the book of Isaiah. All right. I believe the uh, 28th chapter. Or 25. Isaiah 25 and 8. He will swallow up death in victory. And God will wipe away the tears from all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from the earth. So Paul is talking about Israelites being changed and brought back to an incorruptible a state to an immortal state. All right. The bodies we were chosen with from the foundation of the earth, because if we were chosen from the foundation of the earth, that means we weren't flesh and blood. We were spirits, heavenly bodies. And we know the heavenly bodies have hands, a head, feet, because Yahweh Shai, as he was described in Revelation, the first chapter in his, you know, heavenly body, it had hands, it had feet. So the bodies look like the bodies we have now. All right. But it is upgraded and we know not what we shall be. So we're going to have those bodies. All right. Be restored to those bodies, but then be able to come back on earth. All right. And rule. This is why it says in Revelation 21. All right. And two, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men. And he shall dwell with them through putting his spirit in us. All right. The laws in us, the instruction in us to where we will never go off again. And they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And our God, the most high, shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes. Take away the rebuke from his people. As Paul was quoting Isaiah 25, the same thing is saying. All right. We're not going to suffer anymore. So going back to uh, Revelation 20. All right. And six, blessed and holy is he that hath part of the first resurrection on such the second death have no power. Now, who does the second death have power over the two thirds? The wicked of our people, they're going to be judged in the lake of fire here in America. See, but the, the, the elect are going to be uh, uh, raised and rescued from death. And you're going to have the wicked of our people as well, who are, who, who are wherever they are being judged. And then eventually we're going to purge the rebels out. But ultimately, on such the second death have no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High. And with Yahweh shine shall reign, reign a thousand years. So through these men being established, that first resurrection, as it says in the book of Romans, the 11th chapter, in the 16th verse, for if the first fruit be holy, right? If the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. And Yahweh Shai is that root, all right? So if the first fruit, all right, the heads 
of righteousness under Yahweh Shai be holy. All right. Then everything that issues forth from that initial body, that first resurrection will be born into the fold as we read down here. And this is how the rest of the nation of Israel is going to get mercy. OK. This is the book of Romans 11 and 27 for this is my cup. Let's start at 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. The whole, ultimately, the, the, the whole seed of Israel is going to be justified. It's just that some were chosen to be against righteousness on this side, and they got a judgment coming. All right? In the kingdom, they're always going to be associated with those, you know, who ultimately weren't a part of that first resurrection, but they will receive a resurrection. They will be brought back, all right, to an immortal state, but they won't be at the forefronts of rulership. All right, they won't have what Yahweh Shah, the 144, the large multitude have, but they will be blessed. All right, there shall come out of sign the deliverer that shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away all their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sake, the ones who are against the truth. But as touching election, they are beloved of the father's sake. So you have the elect, but then you have the elect of the elect. Israel as a whole is the elect. All right, as you get. Isaiah 45, Isaiah 45 and 4, for Jacob, my servant, and Israel, mine elect, but then you have the elect amongst the elect, okay? Israel of the Most High, who ultimately the Lord is going to establish them so that the rest of the nation, as you can read here, verse 27, Romans 11 and 27, for this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away all their sins. All right. Verse 28. In the NLT, many of the people of Israel are now enemies of the good news. All right. And this benefits you Gentiles that were brought in by faith because the Heavenly Father wanted us to get the kingdom by belief in the unseen. All right. Faith. Yet they are still the people he loves, even though they didn't believe at that time. They're still the people he loves. Because he chose their ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So they're all, they're a part of the promise. It's just that it had to start with the remnant being established. For God's gifts and calling are without repentance. He ain't going to change it. And then there's going to be some Israelites just burning forever and who ain't going to be perfect. All right. For in times past, ye, ye have not, for as ye in times past have not believed, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief. Even so, have they also now not believed that through your mercy, they may obtain mercy. See, so through the mercy of the elect, the first fruits, the whole, the whole family of Israel is going to be mer uh, get mercy and be perfect. It just happens in its time, in its order. You see, that's why I said when we read the whole seed of Israel should be justified. You see, because let's get Zechariah 12 real quick. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them in that day, all right, the weakest among them, the least among them, shall be as King David, beloved, mighty. In the house of David, all right, which start, which pretty much that's the 144,000, all right, and then you have that large multitude, shall be as the most high. See? The house of David or the elect of Judah and Ephraim shall be as the, the, the Alahayim. See, the house of David shall be as God, all right, as the angel of Yahweh before them. And that's Yahweh Shai, who's the head of that church, who's the head of that body. And the house of David shall be as God, meaning what? The word we looked up earlier, the Alahayim, they're going to be as what? They're going to go back to that original estate and rule in immortality. All right. And the rest of the, 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 the Israelites that are born into the earth, because, again, we read in Ezekiel. 30, 37. It tells you. All right. Hold up. In verse 25, and they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant wherein your fathers have dwelt and they shall dwell therein even they and their children and their children's children forever and my servant david shall be their prince forever okay so again we're going to have children 
and our children are going to have children and children forever. That's written right there. So, again, each child that's eventually born. Isaiah 59 and 21. As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord, my spirit that is upon thee. And my word which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, seed forever. See? <laughs> Again, as the Lord said, Isaiah 60 and 22 in the NLT, the smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. At the right time, the Lord will make it happen. All right. And how is that going to happen? Through reproduction. All right. Remember, the, the first commandment is to be fruitful and multiply. All right. A lot of you Israelites bug out. Reproduction, all right. That we're going to have reproduction in the kingdom. Now, again, we don't know how the new bodies are going to operate, but we know that through prophecy, because the scriptures say we know in part and prophesy in part. We just showed you a prophecy that we're going to have children and their children are going to have children. But the thing of it is all of them are going to be born all right, into an immortal state. They're all going to be born, all right, into the new covenant, which ultimately is going to be established by the Most High through Yahweh Shai and that 144,000 in large multitude, right. which ultimately are the, uh, that's the first resurrection. So the goal is to partake in that first resurrection because, you know, that's a legacy that will ultimately be at the forefront of life forever. All right, but the Lord is still going to have mercy on the rest of Israel. All right, and as it says, they're going to have everlasting shame and contempt. So if they're burning forever, we read that. Because they're going to have their heads down when they come back and they realize what, you know, they were a part of as they were in the earth. But it says, and many of them that sleep in the dust shall wake to everlasting life, some to everlasting uh, shame and contempt. When you look up this word contempt, all right, da ra a one abhorrence. Ultimately, they're gonna they're, they're gonna be known as that body that was destroyed in a lake of fire that that were wicked and went off. But they still are gonna be beloved of the heavenly Father. They're still gonna have a chance at mercy. They're still gonna be brought back into the fold. All right, um, shame, everlasting shame. Repro reproach condition of shame disgrace now if they're burning forever how are they gonna be shamed and disgraced all right ultimately they're gonna have their heads down because they they went off but overall you know there'll come a time down the line where, you know when they, when they see us when they see the leadership they're gonna you know understand the importance of standing stiffly for the name of the lord but the beauty of it is that the lord is gonna have mercy on them man point blank period. Shalom.